Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been forever. Well, it has only been a week, but for me it feels like forever. Um, but I'm super excited to be back and I am ready to share with you guys a brand new video. Alright, so for today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys how I highlight and contour my face. So today we are going to be using creams and it's going to be super easy. Alright, so um, let's go ahead and get started on the video so that I don't make this video super long. So let's go ahead and go. Alright, so to start off, I'm going to go ahead and start with a foundation. I have already moisturized and primed my face off camera. So I'm going to start with the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Freshwear Foundation. And I am in the color 475. So how have you guys been? Um, last year, last, not last year, uh, last week, I didn't upload any videos because I left out of town like super last minute so i had no time to film or edit or edit any of my videos so i just kind of left like that <laughs> and um if you follow me on instagram then you must already know this but for the ones who don't then yeah that's the reason why i have not uploaded but I was only gone for a few days and I am back and I'm glad to be back. I did have a really nice time. I got to see family and um, that was nice. Now that I have my foundation fully on, then we are going to move on to concealer. And concealer I'm going to be using the Hard Candy, Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer and I am in the shade Medium. And I'm just going to take some to the palm of my hand and I'm going to take a small flat brush and that's what I'm going to use to apply it. So basically to highlight, it's um, you're going to be applying to any parts of the face that you want to bring out. So basically underneath my eyes, I want to bring out and brighten it. So I'm going to apply some right there. And then I do have some redness around my nose. So I'm going to apply some right here. Um, also right here on my chin, I want to bring that out. So we're just going to apply some right here. And also on the bridge of my nose. Now I am pretty sure that you guys have seen many, 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 many people apply some right here on their forehead. And that's just to bring out their forehead as well. But honey, as you can see, I already have a big forehead. So I'm not going to do that. I usually just <laughs> skip that step. For my contour, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. palette and it is all cream bases and it comes with four different colors and as you can see, it looks pretty messy and nasty and because I've been using it for a very long time. Okay, so to apply the contour, I am using this brush right here and I got it off of Amazon and I've had it for a very, very long time, like years. And the name on it kind of, yeah, well, it's gone. So I don't know from where exactly I got it or the name of it. But it's just a very nice, small brush. I'm just going to take a little bit on the brush. And like I said, my forehead is super big. So this is what I'm going to focus on first. And I just apply like this. And then. Like so. Now, for right here for your face, you can always do, you know, everybody knows that little fishy trick. And it shows you where your cheekbones are at and the hollow spaces on your cheeks. 
So you can do that or you can just touch and feel and you'll feel that hollow spot right there and that's usually where you want to contour. For my nose, this brush is a little bit too big and too wide, so I am using a very tiny brush. And this is a ooh. and this is a nice flat brush. This is from BH Cosmetics, and this one gives me a little bit more control of exactly where I want to contour my nose. Um, I do have a full video on how to contour your nose. If you guys are interesting but basically I'm just gonna draw two lines on the side of my on each nose of course the closer you bring the lines together the smaller your nose will bring if you bring it out too much then your nose is just gonna look really wide like so Now I'm just going to blend all of this in and I'm just going to use a damp sponge and I usually like to start with the highlight just because the color is lighter I don't want to mix it in with the contour. So I'm just using all this, blending it out. Now sometimes people like to um, also contour their jawline, um, a lot of other stuff, you know, basically anything that you want it to look more slim and cut, you want to contour. Um, I'm pretty good with mine, so I usually don't contour my chin. But if you want to, you can always apply some contour right here. This is great if you have a double chin, you could always hide that. Okay, next for this, I want to kind of keep it in place and I want to try blending, if I have to, a little bit upward instead of down. If you bring it down, then it's just going to look a hot mess. So just try and rolling it up if you want to or if you're having a hard time blending. But just try to keep it in place. I usually like to squeeze my sponge to make it a little bit more thinner. But the whole thing is just trying to keep the makeup in place. You don't want to spread it all over your cheek because then it kind of defeats the purpose of contouring. This still doesn't look very blended, but for some reason I have to move on and then I'll come back and fix it. I just kind of like to blend it out a little bit and see how it turns out and then I go back and fix whatever I need to fix. So that side is definitely not done. Needs more blending. I just get anxious and I have to blend everything else first. Okay, so if you have a sponge like mine where it's thicker and then thinner in the top then you want to instead of blending like this this is wider so right here at the tip of the contour it's just going to look very nasty and it really is going to move your product somewhere else so you want to flip the sponge over to where the side is smaller like that. same thing with this side i'm going to go back and fix it soon as i'm done with this Then for the forehead, any product that you have, you want to kind of blend out towards your hairline to give it a nice looking blend. Now I'm going to move on to my nose. 
and then this one just kind of tap I'm going in with the highlight first which is that concealer So now, basically, wherever I highlight, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this banana setting powder. And I'm going to set everywhere that I applied the concealer. I don't want the concealer to move or crack, so we just want to set it so that I can stay in place. And for now, I'm going to skip my nose because I'm going to work on it a little bit more since I like it more cut. So yeah, I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. Now for the for this, I usually like to set it as well since I am using creams. Um, so I do take, where's it at? From this Cover FX palette there, we do have a contour and this one is in the color Silhouette. And I'm just going to use this to kind of just set the all of my contour and I'm just going to take a little bit with the brush And that's what I have so far. I do like to go back and clean it up because I want it to look really nice and cut. So with that same banana setting powder, I'm going to go back and clean it up some more. And just cut it. go in with the brush and just kind of clean it up dust away all of the excess powder now for my nose I did contour and I did use um, same cream contouring so of course I want to set that as well I'm going to take this same brush now for my nose, I just want to take like literally like just tap it, tap it. If you put too much, then it's just hard to blend. And I'm just going to go back to where I applied the other one. I do like to go back with a little tiny bit of concealer and just going back and putting a little bit more of that concealer on the bridge of my nose and I'll blend it out with my finger okay and then I'm going to take a little bit of this highlighter from this cover FX um, palette and I'm just going to apply some right here. A little bit more on this side. Depending on your preference, some people like to apply some on the bridge of their nose. I do not. Because my nose is a little bit oily. So I try to avoid that. So I just like to apply some on my cheeks. And bam. And that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that it was easy. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.